Hello students. First of all, I would like to extend my thanks towards all of you for your warm wishes on the occasion of Teacher's Day. Thank you very much. Today we will discuss the remaining stanzas of the poem on the morning of Christ's Nativity written by the famous English poet John Milton. Yesterday we discussed first three stanzas of the poem on the morning of Christ's nativity. Today we will discuss the remaining two stanzas. So let us begin with the fourth stanza. No war or battle sound was heard the world around. The idle spear and shield were high uphung. The hooked chariot stood unstained with hostile blood. The trumpet spake not to the armed throng, and kings sate still with awful eye, as if they surely knew their sovereign lord was by. No war or battles sound was heard the world around students in my previous lecture i have already told you that the poem is has been written on the occasion of jesus christ's birth the poet here tells us that when the baby jesus christ was born the peace spread everywhere or in whole of the world. So, no war or battle's sound was heard the world around. In these lines, the poet says that all the battles or the wars came to an end and peace prevailed over whole of the world. The idle spear and shield were high uphung. The hooked chariot stood unstained with hostile blood. The weapons which are used in the battlefield like the spear, the shield became idle. Means they were of no use because everywhere there was peace. So, all these weapons like spear, shield, they were, they became idle totally. And they were hung up on the walls. The hoop chariot stood unstained with hostile blood. The chariots stood idle. They were hooked. They were tied on a fixed place unstained with hostile blood they were not stained now there was there were no spots of blood on the chariot whose blood with hostile blood hostile means blood of enemies the trumpet spake not to the armed throng and kings sate still with awful eye as if they surely knew their sovereign lord was by. The trumpet spake not to the armed throng. The kings, the, sorry, the trumpets stopped sounding. They spake not. Speak not means there was no sound of the trumpets. Trumpets means the bigels which were blown uh, to start to begin the battle or the war. So the trumpets stopped sounding and the armies stopped marching, not to the armed throng. The armies stopped marching in crowds to the battle field or the battleground. And kings sate still with awful eye as if they surely knew their sovereign lord was by. 
द किंग्स सैट आइडल और फ्री इन देयर पैलेस दे हैड फियर एंड रिस्पेक्ट इन देयर आईज बिकॉज दे हैड कम टू नो ऑफ द बर्थ ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट हु वॉज द हाइस्ट किंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मीन्स हु वॉज द किंग अब ऑल thus in these lines the poet tells us or poet is creating the scene or an atmosphere of peace all over the world with the birth of jesus christ the concluding stanza or the last stanza but peaceful was the night wherein the prince of light his reign of peace upon the earth began the winds with wonder whist smoothly the waters kissed whispering new joys to the mild ocean who now had quite forgot to rave while birds of calm sit brooding on the charmed wave the poet compares or gives his regard to the baby jesus christ as the prince of light but peaceful was the night wherein the prince of light prince of light here means baby jesus christ because with the birth of jesus christ the darkness came to an end darkness or ignorance came to an end so the poet says that baby jesus christ was like the prince of light his reign of peace upon the earth began the winds with wonder whist smoothly the waters kissed at the birth of jesus christ the winds became silent with wonder with surprise and they gently kissed the surface of the ocean ocean means sea whispering new joys to the mild ocean who now had quite forgot to rave while birds of calm sit brooding on the charmed wave the winds whispered new joys means the messages of happiness into the ears of the mild ocean into the ears of the gentle ocean or gentle sea who had now quite forgot to rave even the ocean the sea seemed to have forgotten to roar with anger who now who here means the ocean had now totally forgotten to uh, roar with anger means it became still its waves became still while birds of calm sit brooding on the charmed wave the ocean had become so calm so peaceful that some birds sat brooding sat brooding sat enjoying on the charmed wave they some birds sat brooding on the surface of the ocean therefore the birth of jesus christ brought peace and calmness to the whole world so the poet compares jesus christ with with the prince of light he admires him appreciates him 
by saying that the baby Jesus Christ was like the Prince of Light. So students, in this poem, we have discussed the remaining stanzas. Tomorrow we will continue with the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.